Good morning. Yesterday my EcoFlow Delta Pro arrived and today is surprisingly on British day where we have sun all day long with very low chance of rain. So I figured let's get my solar panels out and see how well it charges. Yesterday I unboxed the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Um, it came charged to 30% by default. Um, I then plugged it into the mains at slow charge where it charged at 400-ish watts um, until it was about 50%, uh, at which point I had set it up in the app not to charge anymore. So that is where it should be now. There you go, 52%. That's where it stopped itself. So one of the connectors uh, I showed you yesterday is this one. Um, so it just connects to standard solar panel MC4 connectors. And this connector, which I forgot was called yesterday, is an XT60, I believe. Um, I've got some XT90s around, and I'd forgotten what they were called. But anyway, uh, these solar panels are 30-ish volts nominal, uh, with about, I think it's 3.6, 3.7 maximum um, which means there should be about 90 volts coming out of here and this one the one with the curve on the end should be the negative now then let's see if I can do this one-handed the answer to that was no but we are now getting 94.8 volts uh, from these solar panels Right, so let's plug it in. At the back we have the connectors. Um, so I believe that is how you blow it up. So unfortunately there are trees in the wave right now. So I don't expect to get much in it's not charging is that because I have it turned off in the app so I'm just on the app now and it isn't working great oh I just heard a relay clicking And we are now getting 50 watts from this pitiful morning sun. It's just before nine o'clock to give you an idea. Anyway, I will keep an eye on this during the day and see how far we get. It's just gone 12 o'clock here now. And I was curious what voltage the solar panels will be putting out at sort of peak performance. So it seems to be just over 30 volts each. So probably about 30 one and a half volts. Um, it's been a really good morning so far for solar production. Um, I've added uh, about 10% to the battery, so um, 350 watt hours, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased. Um, I've been taking screenshots every hour of the uh, solar production, so I'll be putting a little graph um, but yeah it's been really good hopefully I'll get the voltage back on this no you can't see the screen anyway but yeah I've been put it's currently doing uh, 30 uh, 357 watts but I have seen it as high as 565 watts so far today and it suggests it will be full in about two hours. No, three hours. Well, it's just gone three o'clock and this thing has fully charged uh, in what's that, nine o'clock until now, three o'clock, so that's six hours. Um, average, I'm assuming, was around 400 watts 
Um, Hafsen Peaks High is about 575 watts. Um, but it actually only really started somewhere around half past 10. Um, before then, um, some of the trees about just over here um, were blocking the light a little bit. Um, before then, it was only 50 to 60, maybe 70 watts. So the sun being in the right place really does make a difference, um, which is fascinating. Anyway, uh, tonight uh, I'm going to be using this to power my gaming. Uh, and I'll let you know how it goes. Morning. It's been six days. It's now Saturday after the last solar panel charge test, which was on Tuesday. And oddly enough, we have another beautiful day in the UK in the winter. <laughs> Go figure. Anyway, today I've got my fourth solar panel. Um, I noticed uh, that I was only getting about 90, 95 volts uh, from the three solar panels. Um, so I decided to add another one, which is putting me up to about 130 volts, just a little bit less than that. Um, so yeah, we'll see how much of a difference that makes. Uh, I was seeing peaks of about 575 watts uh, the other day. Um, I, I would imagine probably get closer to 700. Um, but I'll, I'll keep an eye on things and see how it goes. Well, it's just gone 5 o'clock uh, in the UK. Um, the solar has charged up my battery to about 90%, uh, which is what I'd set it to. Um, I then decided at that point, which is about 3 o'clock, so started charging about 10 o'clock this morning, it's at 30%, uh, we're now at about 3 o'clock, somewhere around there, it uh, charged all the way to 90%. I, I did raise that again to start charging to 100%, but by that point the sun had already gone so far around that trees were blocking, um, blocking the solar panels again. Um, for my permanent install, I think I'm going to mount them further forwards, so the trees are going to be less of an obstruction. Um, which should be pretty good because I've been seeing um, I think I saw a peak of 860 watts uh, with normally going about 750 to 800 watts throughout most of the day um, it's been a bit more cloudy today so there's been some big uh, wavy lines in the uh, in the graphs but I'm really excited to see that um, the solar panels uh, can charge the Delta Pro um, at such a rate that even having my work computer plugged into it um, will still charge within a few hours on a good day. Um, I'm also incredibly surprised that here in the UK I'm also incredibly surprised that here in the UK we've had two really sunny days and it's not even the spring equinox yet. Um, there you go, five o'clock. Um, tomorrow looks to be a bit more overcast, um, so I'm going to uh, discharge my battery again um, just to see what it's like with the four solar panels on a more cloudy day. Um, I would expect to see three or four. 400 watts most of the time uh, which again would still charge the battery even with a computer connected to it um, but I, I don't know if that would be enough to balance it. Um, it it would probably be okay for a day or so um, to do that um, so long as I don't completely dis uh, deplete the battery in the evenings which I don't think I'll ever do I, I seem to use about 50% depending on how late I stay up um, so yeah successful test. Look forward to seeing what tomorrow brings.